I think I've mentioned this before, but with this giveaway car, um, I'm gonna be driving this car around, trying to find any sort of issues and get this absolutely perfect. So whoever wins this car will have a very good experience and won't have something breaking on them or doing weird stuff. The question is, how good is the cold start gonna be on E85? Because you guys know, pretty much all my cars struggle. All right, let's see. Letter prime. Oh, come on. Now, the car did have like two or three gallons of pump in it, so it's not full straight 85, so we'll just say that's why. This thing sounds so perfect. I can't get over it. It's kind of cool, this is actually my first time doing any sort of long distance towing with this truck. So being able to compare it to the old truck, I will say it did feel a little bit stabler. A little bit less good gas mileage. I think I got eight miles to the gallon where my other one would have gotten like 10 on the same drive at the same speed. Um, but the bigger gas tank makes it rad, so. Cool though, enjoying this thing. Only reason I came this far to go drifting was this guy right here. See my boyfriend, he's helping me. Is this your first time here, Chris? Dude, I, it is and I'm terrified. Yeah? I'm scared. I'm, like, Dude. I'm gonna go watch because I don't know the layout and I don't want to look like an asshole. This is your local now. No. How's that Four feel? It's away from my house, dude. It feels good. Yeah. I drove my car. You don't need no truck. Let's let's go. Let's go look at your car real quick. Cause I, I haven't ever really like seen your car much, other than like on the shop and in my way when I'm trying to use your lift. <laughs> this one's definitely an upgrade to my last one. All right. So my first drift event, I had an LSU in it from a 2005 GTL. Uh huh. Up first event. So this is a LS. This is a L94 from a 2013 Escalade. All right. So. She, she F's. I was gonna say the F word, but it's okay. I try. I try not. To. I appreciate it. I like the color. Yeah, the midnight purple wrap. It's a little dark, but it's clean. How much power? Uh, 390 to the wheels and 416 torque. We're gonna try to get Rudnick to uh, grip his setup a little bit today. We're gonna try. I want you to drive my car and see if it needs more grip. It does. I don't oh, even need no. to drive it. Yeah. Okay. What there, you can never have enough grip. You can never have enough grip. Yeah. Hmm, that's just all chill. But, um, yep. So, I just, I don't know, drifting. So, I put, a, I put a roof cam on my car. I'm gonna, like, roof cam record me diving in on Taylor on every turn. more water than I thought. And, I'll narrate over it and explain to you all the stuff that I'm doing wrong and how badly I'm driving. And when you rear end me, we can get it on camera. Dude, I hit him so hard. So I got whiplash. He gave me the look, all right? He gave me a look and I was like, this guy's not getting away with that look, no. It was the look of I was winning. I yep. Was yep, Taylor was like, Taylor's so competitive. He was just like, came up to me, like kind of chuckled and just laughed like, yo, yeah, I'm so much better than you. So I was just like, oh, ram him. Now you ain't got no rear bumper. Like, yep, that's what happens, dude. You're the flex, more like you're the hit Taylor in the rear end. <laughs> I'm saying. Uh,
If you ever meet Adam, don't tell him his hands smell good because um, if so you do, weird. if you do, he's gonna he's gonna strap you in so you couldn't move. But well, Adam's such a good friend of mine that he he buckled me in he for me. He doesn't want you to squirm when you start screaming. <laughs> you, know, you look like the first generation of the Flash. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, cool. Do you want me to bring your car up? Ah, that's fine. I don't care. Oh, here we go. Transitioned, I swear to God, we were gonna crash into him. Yeah, that's what happened before. Yeah. Instead of transitioning nice, I just went push. <laughs> that was sick. I think you're weighing down the car. Oh, thanks, man. Another fat joke. You really love those fat jokes. I've huh? never made a fat joke in my life. You said, hey, let me loosen this harness for you. Dude, and now the, it's the you're weighing down the car. The car was like a freaking 24 waist. I get it, dude. I get it. You know what? I'm a 34, okay? That's a whole 10 waist. <laughs> right and he was like right in my face I jumped wow oh my god Drift by yourself? Drifting by yourself sucks. This is sick. <laughs> you use that, dude. I, I, I want to count the clutch kicks. That's yeah. intense. Dude, if I literally don't clutch kick, then my car straightens. Yeah. I mean, you can feel the grip. Oh, yeah. All right, bro. Do I got you hooked on the grip yet? <sighs> I need a hug, man. I need a hug. <laughs> the grip hug. That was so much fun. And. I know you like to give me shit about running my Nankings. You know what? For now on, I'm gonna listen to you. Okay. That was the best drive experience between you two <laughs> in my life. It was. I have goosebumps, dude. I literally have goosebumps right now. He pump. does. <laughs> I literally have goosebumps. That's tight. So much fun. So it's not just that he runs Nankings. It's he runs Nankings starting at like 25 cold, so they're getting up to like 35, and they're 235s. 
on a how much horsepower? On 390. Yeah. On a Mustang. That we would too. be ice skating on our cars. With Honestly, that. feeling that my car is an ice skating. Because th this is 265. This is my first time actually driving on the 265s. So I'll tell with? you about that. I started them at 18, okay. and it was like any less than that, I would have been struggling. Yeah. When they were cold, it was a little tough, but like it was it was easier to dive. So I can yeah. see why Matt. It's nice. Yeah. But it's like it is it is harder to be smooth and like it's harder to stay smooth and fluid. Grip. Yeah. Yeah, because mine those ATRs are like that. But yeah, I noticed you had just as much grip as me. Yeah, no, and I was like, I could dive in, but I was like, same, early, you same. Know? Notice how I try to throw in there that Matt's driving ability has to do with his tires, not, <laughs> that, not that he's a robot, because he's a robot. It's his tires. Yeah, it's his tires. It's absolutely um, his tires. But I had a lot of fun. Good. We're we're gonna get you on some low pressure 265s. We'll put some soft springs in the rear. Unhook your sway bar. Okay. It's gonna I don't have a sway bar. Okay, that's good. That's a start. So Kendall's. Do you know what your spring rates are in there? I think like 4K or something, I don't know. Oh, 4K is pretty good, right, for E36? Is he triple over or not? No. Oh, oh he, wow, that, yeah. there's, it's gotta be more than four, because that's real soft, that's like yeah. two. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> Just got him from Grant, it's like 20 bucks. Oh, dude, they're probably, that's why they're not true coilovers. Every, <laughs> everything that Grant has is fake, like no, those Granadors. Better off no Shots true coilover on those cars, though, honestly. Better, better off true coilover? No, better off non true coilover. Well, the thing is, true coilovers, the, the it gets the, weird on those cars. Yeah, but it's easier to adjust. That's it if, is. if you're it is. if you are in a competitive environment, I think the true coilover is better because you can set it up and adjust faster. On those cars, though, you can just unbolt the shock and change spring rate. Yeah, but height wise, every time you're playing with height, it gets annoying. If you're if you're properly preloading, I know I know that you don't know anything about suspension, and I've worked at DC Racing, so. <laughs> Adam's the suspension god, so like I'm just gonna stop. Dude, talking. my shop is literally across the street from BC Racing. It was you, BC Racing. You couldn't, yeah, my shop that, literally. That, that was you it. couldn't understand the knowledge that I have. I about don't suspension. understand. I'm done. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna embarrass myself oh, oh. any further. I'm leaving. Dude, I had the smartest dude set up all my cars with their coilovers. He worked at BC Racing. You're supposed to stay on that side so I could walk down like it was a staircase. Oh no, the staircase is right here, brother. Yeah, yeah. Wait, <laughs> hold on. This way. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you didn't get down low enough. It's hard, dude. Oh my god. Hold on, you ready? You're embarrassing me in front of Rudnick. <laughs> there you go. Well, Ender yeah, right there. I'm gonna go ice skating. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what buddy. Did you? They did rub, huh? <laughs> the thing is, is the paint all... Oh, the paint's fine, dude. It's a little caked. Time for overs. Look at that. They're sticky, dude. That's dope. Hear that LS, Taylor? Where, where is? No. Oh, <laughs> They're doing a grudge match type battle thing, so as long as me or Taylor take home the win for proximity, we'll be good. That's all that matters, He's brother. He's got a, all that matters, brother. He's got a tire that keeps deflating on him. De-beating. De-beating. Well, I guess and deflating. Yeah. Our friend Nick's gonna film some outside clips so we can just focus and get in the zone. Bro, look, how, what do you got for cup holders in this thing? Bro, I got the thing, the little slidey out deal. Do you have the slidey out deal? No, HR, HR don't have those? No, they don't. That's the best cup holder ever. Oh boy. Never buy an HR, you don't have a slidey out cup holder. He's gonna win because he's gonna be hydrated and I'm gonna look okay, like an idiot. Take my drink and see how many G's I'm pulling in the corner. Damn. It's important. That's data if I've ever heard. That's what I'm saying, brother.
kind of an uh, anticlimactic end to the night. If you aren't familiar with street out, law, street out Laws, it was basically a similar like 10 people, you get to battle, call out people. The person above. Whatever. Doesn't matter. The problem was, at the same time as running the comp, they were running their other classes, and it was literally taking like 30 minutes between battles because someone would go from the normal class, spin out, and then they need to get towed or, off track. Yeah, get stuck in the mud, and they need to get towed off track. Got to a point where there wasn't much time left in the comp, so me and Taylor was like, yo, let's just dip out of here because we wouldn't even get enough time to get to our next chance to call someone out. Yeah, well, as I was trying to do that, they were like, oh, you can battle, and then someone called me out. I did half a battle, and then they're like, okay, it's over. So in, in my head, the finals would have been me and you anyway, so yeah. you, you took home the, the W. This time. Yeah, I think there no, there's no real reasoning as to why Taylor won, but reviewing the footage, I think I was kind of following him more with a Naoki style, kind of like drive up on you, where you had a much more fluid, like, behind the door approach. Just because my tires were so slow. But it, it, looked, it looked much nicer, where mine was more just like divey and... Like I said, I figured we would be so close that it would be like probably a one more time. If you, watch the, if you watch the footage at any other event, it probably would have been one more time. Yeah. Just because there, it's just it's just a difference in style. I figured it would be like that. We'd be real close. It'd need to be a one more time. They weren't going to want to give us a one more time, and they were just going to be like any mini money mo. Yeah. That's my so. opinion. So. We'll settle we on it. We shredded all day, and it was amazing. Oh, wait. And I had a blast. We'll settle in FD, brother. <laughs> this guy. Dude, if we take the Z's to FD, no one will be able to follow us. <laughs> that would be so funny. Right? That would be really funny, honestly. Honestly.